Next thing we need to do here is time to take the monocoat off. If you, what you want to do is you want to take a look and see the pattern of how the monocoat is. You, these lines are normally just a piece of monocoat that you can pretty much take off, but there's monocoat underneath. They do this, they do it different ways, but so I, you kind of take a piece off to take a look at this. What you'll see is there's a seam here. Now that seam, one or two ways. You could take your exacto, just cut it down a little bit, and get your fingernail under there. That piece coming up, get it started. And these sides are always the hardest one. That wrap is where it's going to end up being the biggest pain. You'd love to be able to take this off in one big piece. There are ways to do that. You can go around the outside and slightly cut into the wood, and I mean slightly cut. You really want to just get the monocoat and not the wood. So I'm just barely cutting. Okay. There we go. Now as I pull, you can see it's going on the cut line. There's no right way to do this. Ultimately, you just need to get the monocoat off. Let's just be real about this. And um, it is a pain. And there is monocoat that gets left behind. So you just do it any way you can. Uh, there is, I don't know of any good way of doing this, except doing it. Uh, on the edges, we did talk about a little bit the edges being a bit of a pain. And you can see that right there. So you can try to put a heat gun on it. Try to warm up those sides. You know, it helps a little, not a lot. You can really do a whole lot. Oops. Sorry about that. And see, it really didn't didn't help a lot. The heat gun works slightly. Um, different schools, and you can see it's not the easiest thing. It's a pain. I don't care how you look at it. Monocoat's a pain. Yeah, you're going. Yeah, Randy, why don't you just buy a kit that doesn't have monocoat on it? Well, they didn't have the plane that I wanted. How's that? Uh, this is a great kit. It's a great ARF. I just don't like the monocoat. If it was ultra coat, it'd be a different story. I may be okay with it, but probably not. Um, you can see I've got little pieces left over. There's a little piece there. There's a little piece here, and you just gotta work at it. It's a, it's not easy. It's just a friggin' pain, man. Okay, so there's one side almost done. And that's it. Just take the monocoat off, do your best, do everything you can, and keep the camera level. Thanks. One thing I want to show you real quick, if you can kind of come in here, is when you take the monocoat off, before you put on this sanding resin, is there could be a little bit of monocoat. Best thing to use is 80 grit sandpaper. You, know, it's, you don't want to etch into the balsa or the wood itself. All you have to do is just give that a quick sand and you can see it's gone. It just takes nothing to take that off. Again, here's some right here just to get an idea. You can see how it took that off. This other part would just come off if we chose to. But, you know, maybe there's a little bit on the edges, a little bit on the corner there, and it just comes right off. So there's a quick technique. You want to make sure you